So back when I was in school, one of my favorite novels was Gulliver's Travels, which followed along the adventures of Lemuel Gulliver, a surgeon and sea captain, as he ended up in all these different fictional lands. One of the places he ended up in was this place called Brobdingnag, which was this land of giants. And these giants were these simple people. And one of the simple aspects of them is that none of their laws could exceed 22 words. And while it might not be feasible for us here in the United States or anywhere around the world to have laws that are only 22 words, this, this idea of simplicity and just making our legislature simpler is fascinating to me. Kaggle is currently running a Google Gemini long context competition. And I figured that this would be a perfect opportunity to see if we could leverage the long context of these Gemini flash models to ultimately better understand what's going on in the US legislature. And this could be very easily adapted to legislature around the world. So the first step in this task was to grab the current US bill data. And my initial thought for this was I could go to congress.gov and there you can see all the current legislature. And I thought I'd basically just scrape all this information. But ultimately there were some issues. Luckily I stumbled upon this government API and was able to leverage this API to get all of the current bill information. So I wrote some code to basically look at everything that has been updated since October 15th and pull that into a list of JSONs. So we have JSONs that look like this, dumped them into a string, and with that, we are ready to set up our model. And so the first step in this was to understand how much context we were working with and we were trying to load in all of this bill info into one of our models. A way to do this was to basically set up a simple Gemini model and just count the number of tokens. And we see that it is 600,000 plus tokens. And I think traditionally, this would be way too much tokens to pass into a model. But with Google Gemini, and if you wanna look at the specs, you can check out this link. There's models that have, the Flash has a million plus token input limit. The Pro has a two million plus token limit. And kind of basically with that, we could skip having to do something like use RAG, retrieval augmented generation, and just pass all of this context into the model. Let's say we didn't load any of this context in. As we can see, if we generate a response with no context passed in, the model doesn't have information about the current bills, so we can't really do anything with that. So the first approach would be to just simply pass in all of this information as just additional parameter in our prompt string. And this works, but the issue is, is it's not the most efficient way to approach this with Google Gemini models. If we look at our usage count, we are passing in 600,000 plus tokens each request. And one thing that's cool about these Google Gemini models is that they have the ability to create cached data in our model. You load in this cached data once, and then for subsequent queries to our model, it's already loaded in. So in this case, our bill info does not change, but the queries on top of that does change. So what we can do is we can basically create a system message with some additional information as well as our bill info that is put into this cache. With this cache, we can then create a model. So as we can see, generate model from cache content. And then we can proceed to ask similar questions of that model and get similar types of responses. But this time, if we look at the usage metadata, so many of those tokens are cached and we're being much more efficient with how we, we leverage our model. And overall, the testing I did on this, it was all qualitative, but I had some good performance and it was pretty cool to see <laughs> kind of getting a better understanding of what's going on in our government via this model with all this information loaded in. One limitation of the current model though was that if you asked about a specific bill, it didn't actually have that full bill text and so it'd give you a very brief response. So you can kind of dynamically add additional context to your model as needed. And that was one way that I found to improve this model. Leveraging that same model, grab relevant links, pass them in as additional context to our model. So the full link text as additional context, and then try to answer prompts. Qualitatively, I thought that these models worked pretty well with these large context windows. It was super easy to set up and quick. My only like real big challenge was just trying to better understand how I'm billed. But luckily with the free tier, I didn't have to worry too much and I had a million plus token storage included. But I think that's all we're gonna cover in this video. The context limits are five minutes, so I need to make sure I get everything in that time. Throw this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you found this notebook useful, linked in the description, make sure to give it an upvote. Until next time, everyone, peace out.